Hello everyone, welcome to the sixth episode of uh, NEET revision series. In this video, I have picked up seven questions of chemistry uh, NEET 2018 paper. See, as promised, I have been uh, taking NEET uh, 2018 paper uh, questions itself. It's the sixth video, and totally, I have been taking around average five to six questions. That means uh, more than 30 to 35 questions out of 90 have been solved by me itself. So it uh, doesn't it make a responsibility on you guys to solve the rest? Well, yes it does. Without uh, any further ado, let's begin with this one. It says, Nitration of aniline in strong acidic medium also gives meta nitro aniline because which one of the following reasons? They are telling, see nitration of aniline. So you know that uh, aniline looks like this, that is benzene with NH2 and you are nitrating uh, with a nitration mixture you know that it is concentrated H2SO4 plus HNO3 and uh, as expected like what uh, theoretically we expect is uh, there is a lone pair which will uh, provide electrons to the benzene ring so it becomes ortho and para directing group and you will be getting ortho, ni ortho nitro uh, aniline and para nitro aniline but they are telling we also get meta nitro aniline and what is the reason for that well the reason is that First, if we take uh, aniline and uh, in this, uh, see the nitration mixture, nitration mixture is nothing but uh, acid, right? Like there are acids, so obviously H plus ions will be there. What these do is they are attracted towards the lone pair on nitrogen. So there is a lone pair, so this becomes temporarily NH3 plus, right? With the coordinate covalent bond with the hydrogen. Now it no longer has the lone pair of electrons because it is it has given that to the uh, what do you say like Kali kind of hydrogen. This is like it came uh, empty stomach, so it had nothing else. It had nothing to it. So nitrogen uh, gave uh, food to it, but uh, it has got no more food. It, it has got enough food for itself as well as this hydrogen, but uh, not for like giving it for benzene. Now benzene cannot have these electrons and it is already in a deficiency with a positive charge. So what happens is, uh, it takes electrons, so which creates a meta directing effect that is uh, here uh, it becomes a meta directing group, this uh, plus NH3 group so that uh, meta nitro aniline also forms uh, with a significant percentage. So we will get uh, para and ortho also, this ortho nitro aniline NH2 and uh, we will get para also NH2 and NO2 along with that meta also we will be getting uh, this is an NCRT reaction please uh, see in NCRT also with the proper explanation but this is what actually happens because it temporarily becomes NH3 plus that is aniline, uh, anilinium ion so the option D will be perfectly correct because in acidic medium aniline is present as anilinium ion so it becomes a meta directing group temporarily and so some uh, product of some amount of product of uh, meta nitro aniline is also possible and the next question says the solubility of BiSO4 in water is 2.42 into 10 power minus 3 grams per liter at 298 Kelvin. What is the value of the KSP? You know that uh, BiSO4 in water splits as Ba2 plus plus uh, SO4 2 minus. If the concentration, if I call it as S, this also will be having uh, same concentration S because there is uh, they are in same number of moles. So KSP is given by concentration of Ba plus 2 into concentration of SO4 2 negative is equal to S into S both have S concentration that is S square but uh, take care that S is given in grams per liter S should be concentration uh, where in equilibrium we are always supposed to mention concentration in uh, moles per liter that is molarity so but this is in grams per liter so all you have to do is 2.42 into 10 power minus 3 divided by the uh, molecular mass of BiSO4 which is nothing, uh, which is given here that is 233 and uh, all you have to do is just square this you will be getting answer as 1.08 into 10 power minus 10 mole square per liter square that is nothing but molarity square I hope you got what we have done we just uh, if you don't get this idea also if you forget to uh, see that uh, you have to divide by molecular mass what you can do is you know that S is given in grams per liter and uh, you want the answer as S square. So S square will become gram square per liter square. But all the options are in mole square per, li per liter square. So in that way at least you have to get the idea that you have to divide by molecular mass. So as to get moles in the uh, units. 
let's see the next question which is the given uh, van der Waals constant for NH3, H2, CO2 are respectively 4.17, uh, 2.244, 1.36 and 3.5 and respectively which of the following gases is most easily liquefied. Now uh, van der Waals constant which one is there are two van der Waals uh, constant right? A and B in that A is a measure of uh, this thing force of attraction force of attraction which is uh, related to liquefaction obviously Li if uh, force of attraction is more then liquefaction is easier liquefaction becomes easier so A is we are talking about A here so which uh, has more uh, value of A that can be easily liquefied in that case 4.17 is the highest of all in the all these four 3.59, 1 1.36, 1 0.244 and 4.17 4.17 belongs to ammonia that means option C NH3 should be the correct answer when the initial concentration of the uh, reactant is doubled the half life of a zero order reaction becomes what you know that half life of a re uh, zero order reaction that is T half is given by uh, A by 2k right so it is directly re related to A A is nothing but initial concentration so T half is directly proportional to A and uh, <coughs> That means if this is uh, doubled, T half also is doubled, so option B should be correct. This is for zero order reaction. You know that for first order reaction, it is uh, A power zero. That is, it is proportional to A power zero. In uh, second order reaction, it is proportional to A power minus one because in this case, uh, T half is given by one by AK. And you know that for uh, this, it is given by T half is equal to 0 0.693 by lambda or k whatever and uh, in this case it is a 1 by a k that is a power minus 1 but they are asking for zero order reaction that is a by 2 k so it is proportional to a if this is double this also becomes doubled let's see the fourth question <coughs> I mean fifth question which says which of the following oxides is most acidic in nature now how do you compare they are asking uh, the options given are uh, BAO, BEO, MGO and CAO you can see that all of these are metals right all of these are metals and uh, oxides of metal are how like what is their nature obviously they are uh, basic right basic in nature and uh, oxides of uh, non-metals are acidic in nature in this case uh, you, you can take the example of CO2 which is acidic where C is a non-metal it is a it is not a metal right so its oxide is uh, nothing but uh, it is acidic so in that case uh, metals uh, oxide will be basic in nature but they are asking which is most acidic which is most acidic which is least basic right uh, we have to ch check the metallic uh, character like how if it is uh, if the compounds are more metallic if the, like the elements the metals used if they are more metallic then it becomes more basic also so the most basic in this case is uh, barium because it is uh, lowest in the group so this is the least acidic and uh, BEO is in this beryllium is least metallic this is least metallic so least basic so most acidic obviously so option B will be our correct answer I hope you got the logic what we have done let's see the next question which says the compound C7H8 undergoes the following reactions that is uh, C7H8 C7H8 undergoes the following reaction that is uh, with three three times of uh, Cl2 with heat and FeBr2 and then ZnHCl in that case uh, what do we do so how do we begin with this <coughs> first let's draw the structure of C7H8 obviously in the options you can see toluene 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 so uh, it should be something related to benzene let's uh, see which compound it can be till here it is C6H6 we need one more carbon C7 and uh, CH3 so you have 1 2 3 4 5 hydrogens 6 7 8 hydrogens plus 7 carbons so we are uh, so C7H8 should be toluene in this case we are reacting with uh, 3 moles of Cl2 so all these 3 hydrogens will be replaced by chlorines uh, by getting HCl as the byproduct 3 times of HCl so we get CCl3 now the next step what we are doing is we are making it to react with Fe and Br2 you know that is a bromination reaction in this case where uh, where will the brominating uh, happen at which position whether ortho, meta or para how do we decide that for that we have to uh, check this group how I mean how does this group behave see if 
carbon had only like hydrogens in uh, in 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 place of Cl3. If it was toluene, then we could say that it is plus I group, and it would uh, push the electron density towards the benzene. So so it is ortho and para. But in this case, it is not surrounded by hydrogens. It is surrounded by chlorine atoms. So what happens is uh, the chlorine itself pulls the electrons. Cl Cl Cl. All these three are electron negative, and they keep pulling. So uh, carbon experience definite experiences a deficiency in electrons. So what it does is it pulls from the benzene ring, and hence it becomes a minus I group. That is um, inductive effect is negative effect. So in this case, meta directing will be uh, more uh, favorable. That means we will get a bromine at this position. And finally, we are making it to react with Zn HCl. You know that it uh, brings about reduction reaction, and all these three Cl will again be replaced by H uh, hydrogens. In this case, all the hydrogens will uh, replace chlorine, and then finally we get uh, the compound CH3 and Br at the meta uh, position. So meta bromo toluene should be our correct answer, right? Now the last question says, among CaH2, BaH2, and BaH2. The order of ionic character is what? We need the ionic character. We know that more the ionic, uh, I mean, more metallic the compound, uh, the metal in the compound is more the ionic will be the compound. So out of uh, Be, Ca, and Ba, we know that this is most metallic, and Be is the least metallic. So uh, the same order will be followed in the ionic character of these compounds also because, uh, I mean that that's what happens. So option. Uh, BH2 has to be maximum. These two cannot be correct at all because uh, calcium is not uh, more metallic than uh, barium. So option C will satisfy BA, CA, and BE. So option C is the correct answer. So in this way, we are supposed to solve these uh, seven questions of uh, NEET 2018 paper. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel also if you are uh, if you have just stumbled upon this video. And uh, please don't forget to give a like to this video also. And don't forget to share it with your friends also so that even they don't miss out. Uh, Uh, on this uh, magnificent series which is going on for neat as well as je and finally thanks a lot for watching this video thank you